Hello Hellenes, do you know how to do the infinite rupee glitch? Have you tried to do it and it didn't work? Today, we'll learn how to do it and go over some common problems that people have had when trying to do it. I'm Nico and this channel is all about 100% Zelda. We'll learn some guides, tutorials and things like that. So if you want more Zelda content, I hope you consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. I'll start by saying that this glitch is not patched and developers have said they will no longer update Breath of the Wild. If the glitch doesn't work for you, you're probably doing something wrong. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. For this glitch, you'll need one of any Royal Guard weapon. Also, having an elemental rod may help. And five to seven multi-shot bows. Sometimes the glitch works with five, but it will for sure work with seven. If you want to skip the location of these items, just go straight to how to do the glitch. Check the links in the description for the timestamp. If you don't have a Royal Guard weapon, you can get them from Hyrule Castle. The easiest Royal Guard weapon to get is the Royal Guard Shield. This assumes you've already opened the shrine in Hyrule Castle. Teleport to the shrine, climb up the stairs into the library, go right, move the bookcase leading into the King's Study. If you haven't opened the shrine, you can probably go do it or get the spear from the dining hall. To get to the dining hall from Hyrule Castle's entrance, go to the only entrance that's northeast after climbing a few walls. Once you're in, use Magnesis in the fireplace. If you want to get a Royal Guard's bow, since the glitch may be easier to do with it, the fastest way would be to go to the weapons room. Still go to the dining hall, but go through it and you'll be there. If you are playing master mode, you can also get some treasure chests above the bridges around Hyrule Castle. For multi-shot bows, you can defeat some Lynels, or go to the shrine by the Yiga hideout. You should fight one foot soldier on the way to the hideout, then drop down the cliff for another. Then, three of them in front of the hideout. and one more bow laying on the ground inside the entrance of the Yiga clan hideout. If you need a seventh bow, you can either go to the end of the hideout for another duplex bow, or go to the small cave in the Lanaru wetlands. There is the forest dweller bow inside there. And for an elemental rod, you can defeat the wizard robe right next to Farron Tower. Now for the infinite rupee glitch. There's a woman named Parisi in the Riverside Stable. The first time you talk to her, she'll ask to see a Royal Guard weapon. Show her one and she'll give you 300 rupees. After that, she'll trade you a topaz, a ruby, or a sapphire each time you give her a Royal Guard weapon. The way this glitch works is to overload your menu, which I'll explain in a bit, so you never lose your Royal Guard weapon when you give it to her. You can constantly keep giving her Royal Guard weapons and she will constantly keep giving you infinite amount of Rupees, Topaz and Sapphires. You can then sell them all. First, save the game. Then make sure you only have one Royal Guard weapon in your inventory. And equip Link with any other weapon that's not the Royal Guard weapon. If you're doing this with a shield, then equip another shield that's not the Royal Guard shield. Now to overload your menu, you need to equip Link with a multi-shot bow and a lightning arrow. Go to the overworld, make sure Link is holding the bow. This is a common detail that people forget to do. Go to the inventory, drop equip bow, equip another multi-shot bow, leave inventory. Then, go to the inventory, drop equip bow, equip another multi-shot bow, leave inventory. Then, go to the inventory, drop equip bow, equip another multi-shot bow, leave inventory. Do this until Link looks funny or disappears, and now the menu is overloaded. After the menu is overloaded, equip Link with the Royal Guard weapon or shield that you're doing this glitch with. When you leave the inventory, Link should still have the original weapon or shield on his back. 
Now just talk to Parsi and keep pressing A. And if you have a turbo controller, you can use that too. If you want to do it with the bow, it might be easier. Make sure it's the only Royal Guard weapon in your inventory. Overload the menu. After the menu is overloaded, drop the last multi-shot bow and equip the Royal Guard's bow. When you leave the inventory, Link should be holding nothing. Check your inventory to make sure the menu is still overloaded, then talk to Parsi. Now for some random notes. Even if you max out one of the ores, Parsi will still randomly give you one of the three ores. It takes about 4 seconds to get one ore. If you have zero ores, it will take you 3 hours and 20 minutes to get 999 topaz, rupees, and sapphires. Selling them all would get you 649,350 rupees. That's more than enough that's needed for the whole game. If you do this method for 10 minutes, because you don't know what stones you'll get, you should get about 45,000 rupees. And if you want to know how this compares to other rupee farming methods, check the card in the corner or the links in the description. If you overload the menu, switch weapons but Link is holding the Royal Guard weapon or shield in the overworld, don't talk to Parsi. Try overloading again. If this still happens, reload the game and try again. If it still happens, try equipping the elemental rod before overloading the menu. Even if you're doing the glitch with the shield, still equip the elemental rod. That's how you do the infinite rupee glitch. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. If the glitch works or you just liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more Zelda content, I hope you consider subscribing or at least checking out the channel. See you next time!